That bag is moving. Oh crap. Hey guys, it's Brandon with Investment Joy. Today we're going to uh, go through this house. My buddy just bought it uh, probably about a week ago. It's a two bed, one bath, brick built. Uh, they call them German bricks. I don't know if it's an actual German style, but they're, they're pretty popular here in town and they're very easy to fix, very easy to go through. I had this great idea not that long ago that, um, or he, the guy that bought this, my buddy Sean, he called me and he said, Brandon, you'll never guess what we found inside the garage of one of our houses. And I said, what? And he sh sent me pictures and um, it was an old VW Beetle, okay as shape, easy to repair and stuff like that, or at least fixable. And I had this great idea of doing a video saying, um, get, you'll never guess what I found in this garage. And um, before I could even get that video shot, uh, the car disappeared. <laughs> so unfortunately we didn't have the opportunity to do that. So um, he called me and wanted me to go take a look at this house. Um, he got it for, oh shoot. <laughs> Oh crap. Um, he got it for $9,500 with $1,200 in back taxes. Um, we'll take a look through here. Um, that bag there is where the mouse was in. I came in and it, the whole bag was moving back and forth. Turn my camera on, it's full of mice. So um, here's the kitchen of this house, this $9,500 house right outside Columbus, Ohio. That's where I live, that's where my laundromats are, that's where I do business. Um, decent little um, kitchen. The whole house is okay-ish, but he got it for um, not much money. He's gonna have to put a new roof on it, do some cleaning. I think he's gonna put carpet in this room. Um, we still have rolls of carpet from a uh, deal I did last year where there was a, uh, carpet, uh, a fire in a carpet store and I bought a semi-load of carpet for uh, $3,000. So we've got tons of carpet. I don't think he's gonna refinish these old floors, but um, it's a really cool house. And the thing that I wanted to talk about on this video, we'll go through here, um, that's important to me is I get all these messages now that my uh, YouTube channel has blown up. I get all these messages from people and they say, oh man, Brandon, I wish that I lived in an area like yours. If I li it lived in an area like yours, um, I could buy houses, I could be rich. It's just, you know, they, they, send, they, they get really depressed and a lot of people are upset that they don't live in a good neighborhood to buy houses. And the funny thing is, I have at least four investors here in this, this town, outside Columbus, and they all tell me the same thing. Brandon, all the deals are gone. I can't find any houses, uh, here's the bathroom. Um, they can't find any houses to invest in. They don't understand why um, the market is so terrible for houses. And my buddy, Sean, he's like me. Um, we both have big, uh, I'll try to find the switch here. We both have these big um, social media, there we go, cool. Um, we have these big social media pages. Um, people message us all the time, dirty toilet, um, with deals, with properties that they want us to buy. And they're just nonstop. I got the trailer park, he bought this house, he bought another house that he found the car in. Um, it's just like every week we get two or three people calling us. And it's just, it's interesting because I talk to these investors and they say, I wish I was like you. I wish I could find deals and they can't find deals. And they ask Sean and me and um, some of the other active investors, well, how do you do your business? How on earth can it, you human beings find so many deals? And the thing that we try to explain to them, and you know, most of our advice is free. Yeah, there's an exposed brick on the back side of this, and there's an old, like, arched window. I don't know if you guys can see it up at the top. They are, like, used to be arched, and those are expensive to get new windows on. But they ask um, Sean and me and some of the investors I associate with, they say, you know, how can you find so many deals? And we tell them, it's, it's always the same answer, well, we're in the business of buying property. We're in the business of real estate. We're in the business of running a business. And it puts us in this environment where we are always hustling. We're always looking for a new deal. We're always looking for some sort of way to make money. Um, Sean, we'll do an episode on it too. Um, he bought a flower shop. You know, what's that have to do with real estate? He bought a flower shop off a elderly gentleman who was wanting to retire for no money whatsoever. He, his wife is now running the flower shop, no money down, no money into it. It came with employees, it came with um, 
a vehicle to drive the people around, uh, to drive the flowers around, things like that, for free. The guy gave it to him. Um, he did some seller financing. He wrote a note on the property so the flower shop owner gets a little bit of money for his retirement and things like that. The flower shop guy's happy. Um, he gets to retire. He doesn't have to work at the flower shop anymore. Sean's happy because he got another property, another business, another source of income. And people have this, they, they tell him, they tell me, they tell my buddies, you guys are just lucky. It's just like lady luck follows you guys around and you buy all these properties and you do all this business. I just can't be lucky like you. And you know, I, I ask people, I say, you know, was I lucky when my dad got cancer that he died from? Was I lucky when he had a heart attack at 18? Was I lucky when I had to work at a warehouse and pack boxes at a fulfillment center? You know, how am I lucky that I grew up in a poor household? You know, am I blessed to grow up with a dad that uh, had to be on the road a week, sometimes every day for a month, driving a truck so that we didn't end up on the street? And, you know, we came close and we got evicted twice. I don't say that to begrudge people. I don't say that to chide people and say, ah, you're stupid. You know, you don't work hard enough because it's not really about working hard. It's about being passionate, being persistent, and just trying to hustle and make deals. And the, the thing is, you know, you keep, I don't want to rest on my laurels. I want to keep buying properties like this one with the awesome wood trim um, up at the top. The door casings on these are awesome. With a house like this that's built in the early 1900s, late 1800s, the woodwork on these is phenomenal, but wonderful human beings paint over the woodwork. But, um, you know, people say, oh, well, you just had a better upbringing. You had a better life. And I can't really agree with that. I had, you know, kind of had it hard, kind of had problems. Um, I, my parents loved me and I love my parents. And that's maybe that's the defining thing that I had parents um, who were poor. I don't know. But... On a house like this, we find that they're all over, but my buddy Sean calls 20 people a day. He hand, this specific house, he got by handwriting uh, letters and mailing them to the people that um, owned, owned delinquent taxes. And that's how he got this. Delinquent taxes from the county auditor, sending them handwritten notes, doesn't even pay a secretary, he sits at his desk and he mails between two and 20 a day to people. And he got this deal. $9,500, um, $1,200 in back taxes, which he's repaid and needs a new roof on it. And that's going to cost six grand. He's also going to spend, I think, $1,500 to $2,000 just cleaning up the property. He's not going to do a lot of work. Maybe he's going to get the mice out of here, like the only one that was in the bag right there. Um, and then he is going to land contract it. By that point, he'll have 20K in it, taxes, acquisition, stuff like that. Um, he'll, 20, he'll land contract it 10K down, and then he's going to carry back, I guess, 50,000 on payments, so maybe $500 a month. He'll be making between four and $500 a month for the next 10 to 15 years. I don't even want to do the math on that um, for only 10,000 out of pocket and he'll make money, someone will snatch this house in a heartbeat because there was a house right down the street that sold for 75 or 85,000 a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. So they'll get a smoking hot deal. They'll have to do some work. Sean's not gonna fix this place up like really nice. Um, it'll be okay, it'll be livable. Um, someone can finish it and make it look awesome. Um, Sean got a deal, the new buyer's gonna get a deal. Everybody's happy because Sean works hard. Sean owns 70 properties, or 70 rentals. He owns a hotel. I don't know if that hotel's included in the 70, but he owns a, a, a flipping hotel. And Sean works hard. I work hard, and I shoot YouTube videos kind of going over what we do, what I do in my life. Laundromats and rentals and trailer parks and everything. So my encouragement to you guys today is if you have to take one, one thing home from this video about rentals, about real estate, is that it doesn't matter really what market you're in because, you know, people down the street, I know a guy like a couple blocks away from here, he says, you cannot find a deal to save your life. Real estate's too expensive. If only I would have bought during the recession, I could make money. And Sean's gonna make ton, tons of money off this place. And he bought it two weeks ago in the highest priced market Central Ohio's ever seen. 
we're so high, much higher than the bubble right now. It's crazy. The bubble maxed this market out at uh, what 75, 175, 280, 175 to 185, hundred thousand dollars average, and right now we're at 250 on average. So once again, this is Brain with Investment Joy. If you like videos like this, um, since consider subscribing. Um, definitely like the video because it sends it out to other people on YouTube and I can send this more con more content like this to people and and I get a big fat YouTube check so I don't have to I can take extra time I guess I can take time and uh, record more about my life and buying real estate and I don't have to charge for it which is cool so thanks again